Hello everyone, my name is Danish Buns. Welcome back to another How Not to Play or oh, so, whoops, How to Play, <laughs> How to Play of Days. I haven't thought up of a song title yet. I really should have named the last one Hit Me With Your Best Shot. <laughs> that would have been way more appropriate. Let's get into it anyways. Um, guys, if you're running into the retrying to authenticate error, one easy way to fix it is to change your name. So go into your profile, character, editor, thingamabob, and click edit, click your name, click edit, change your name. It'll actually let you back in. I have no idea why the error is occurring. Some people are saying that relogging, so logging back out and in again, will actually fix it as well. I am actually not totally sure. Hopefully... The issue gets resolved by the days, guys. But as of right now, I am not totally sure as to what is going on. But anyways, welcome back. Welcome back. Going to try and be more productive and explain a little bit more in this video. Alright. So we've spawned near Belota. Oh, that's perfect. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check my inventory quickly. All right, of course, forgot. I did perish in the last video. I'm gonna zoom out of our character. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to, again, not follow my own advice. We're gonna to head to the airfield that's right behind Belota. And the reason for doing this is that they have a lot of high, highly powerful weapons there and there are, it's very common for good, useful equipment to appear there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head in that direction. I'm going to try and avoid the city because I really have no desire to be nommed on for today. And I'm going to hope that we don't run into any enemy players. But I guess you guys know my experience with enemy players is it's not very, not very good. I swear I headshotted him. I, I swear, I don't care what anyone says. I watched that video like 20 times over. I headshotted him. I don't. I don't care. I don't know how it missed, and I don't know how he just calmly stood there and took one shot, <laughs> one shot, and I was on my back. Props to him, I guess, for being freaking Neo from the Matrix. Make sure these zombies don't get a try. Oh, that was that is dangerous. I'm gonna walk. Do not want to aggro this guy. Again, guys, pay attention to the sound and, I guess, the audibility and visibility. What are you doing? Why are you changing direction? Very important. I actually believe, even at this range, I could probably crouch run away. But if I were to stand up and run, he would definitely hear me and chase after me. So I'm just going to be as careful as possible. I'm not going to risk anything. I know I have nothing right now, but it's not worth it. Alright. I don't think I've talked about any of the special things or special effects that can happen to you. Special effects. <laughs> Injuries, essentially, that can happen to you. There are a bunch of things that could happen to your character that will physically affect you and your gameplay. One of these items that could occur is breaking limbs, essentially. If you watch my noobs review, you'll see that. You can pretty easily break limbs. And what happens is you won't be able to walk, so you'll have to crawl to safety. And for limb breaking, I believe you will have to use morphine injectors. Oh, the text is all over the screen right now. You'll have to use morphine injectors, and these will make that all better. Also, you can get painkillers when you get assaulted by onerous amounts of zombies. You can use painkillers, and what happens if you need painkillers is you give you an instance of this. If you zoom in, your hand will be shaky like this, and you won't be able to aim at anything at all. So, painkillers become really useful. You can also take advantage of blood packs, and how blood packs work... I'm gonna start sprinting again. Blood packs work by having another player, and what happens is you can do a blood transfusion, which will transfer your blood to another player. I actually don't believe you lose any blood, but the other player gets maximized blood levels. So that's pretty useful. Unfortunately, we are playing by ourselves, so we won't be running into any nice players. At least I don't think so. 
So what we need to do is we need to cook meat. Cook meat will give us 800 blood points. As you can see right now, I'm at the full 12,000. But it's always nice to get a bit of cooked meat right off the bat. There's a there's a goat over there <laughs> in the middle of a destroyed airfield. As you can tell, I'm using my running strategy. I don't want to get sniped. Oh, being careful here. And a lot of these actual military corpses, you cannot actually take advantage of anything that they have on them. Alright. Being really careful. We're going to sneak into here. Oh, crap. That's not a good sign. So, I've aggroed a couple zombies. So, this is not very good. So, what you can see now, I'm going to demonstrate is the fact that zombies have a huge amount of trouble climbing upstairs. I'm going to really take advantage of this, and I'm going to headshot this guy. See? I can get headshots. Problem is, I'm going to aggro like 8 billion of them. Here they come. So there's one. I can hear another one, so there's going to be an, at least one more. Two. Yep. Here comes the third. Yeah, and this is a really useful strategy. I missed. Really useful strategy. Uh, I thought someone. I hope no one is nearby. I don't want to engage anyone right now. All right, so that's a really useful strategy. So whenever you're getting chased by zombies, try and find an enclosed space or an enclosed area. You can really take advantage of them and dominate them, essentially. Now, there are usually weapons here. The fact that there are no weapons here makes me a little bit nervous. Either they haven't spawned. There, are, Thankfully, there are there is essentially nothing there. There could be enemy players, though, so I'm going to be a little bit careful. Check the rooftops. Nothing there. So what we're going to do next is we're going to check the hangars. Oh, make sure you go crouched after climbing up ladders. It will put you into upright mode. And let's be honest, you don't want to get nommed on today. So be very careful with that. All right. Stroll out here. Now I'm going to walk because this hangar is absolutely full of zombies. Very dangerous area. Also very highly populated with bandits. There are none here right now, which is lucky. There's a zombie directly ahead right there. Be a little bit careful. I can't. I want to see if there's a zombie around the corner. Nothing there. I'm going to sneak into this hangar. Slow and steady wins the race, remember guys. Stuff in hangers will always be on one side or another. I'm gonna run in here. Alrighty, I'm checking the area. I do not see anything. Usually, the stuff, as I said before, is on one side or the other of the hangar, right beside these doors. I don't see anything right now, but this trailer could have something inside of it. Nothing. All right. It's a little odd. We're going to move to the next building. Hopefully there's something in there. Again, guys, remember third person. All you have to do is click the enter on the numpad setup. And you'll be able to cheaply look around corners. It's a really effective strategy. Very useful. Nothing here as well. This is a little confusing. Another thing to make sure to do is always keep track keep track of what's going on in your chat because a lot of players will announce their position and you want to be really careful because you really want to avoid other players. Other players are generally a big no-no. Well, that's unfortunate. Didn't find anything here. I'm going to check these buildings. Now there's not it's not very common for items to be in these buildings, but one thing that is often found inside here is the axe, which is what I am looking for to chop down wood. 
I'm going to reiterate on the tools that I need to actually use. I'm going to need the axe, the matches to burn things, of course, and the hunting knife to carve my prey. Check here. Oh, the first item. And it's just scrap metal. That's unfortunate. There are a lot of junk items in here. There are a lot of actually very useful items. Something that people may not be aware of is the fact that you can actually drive cars and helicopters. Which is pretty dang cool. You can fly them around and really terrify the crap out of other players. I remember getting shot down from a guy in a helicopter. And it was probably one of the worst feelings I've ever had. I was just running along, minding my own business. And... I just I just heard that loud buzzing noise and looked up and saw it just looming over it was death. It was death looming over me and it was it was really painful. It was a really painful experience. What we're going to do next is we're gonna head over to the other side of the airfield. Now this other side doesn't have as much useful equipment. It does have some equipment that can be taken advantage of, but it doesn't have anything too impressive. Another thing to note is that there is actually a military base across this field. So perhaps I should check the military base out first. How about we do that? How about we go across the field, check out the military base. Be very careful though, there are zombies that can patrol this field. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in my previous video, but zombies will spawn depending on where you're looking. So if you're looking directly ahead, no zombie will spawn. But if you do look away for one second and look back, there could be zombies directly in front of you, which is really dang annoying. I can't tell you how many times I've been looking to the side, checking my butt, and then running into a massive horde. And having my intestines splayed out on the ground is not an enjoyable thing at all. Okay. Here's the army base. Again, this is right outside of Cherno, actually. Cherno is down the road. Belota is where I spawned, and that's that way over there. Now, the thing about the military base... Ah, you saw that right there? I looked away. Zombies spawned right in front of me. The thing about the military base is that it is crawling with zombies. All of them military zombies. So, the good thing about military zombies is that they usually actually have something on their person. But, a lot of the time... Oh, there's one right there. They can be dangerous. So, you got to be careful around them. The trick to sneaking in here is to not go by the gate. There is a gate right there in between those two towers. We're not going to go to that gate because to do that we'd have to open two doors and opening doors is a signal to the zombies. They will come screaming for your blood. Check around here. So there are actually two other entrances. There's one on the far side over there and there's one right here where the chain link fence ends. What I'm going to do is I'm going to sneak over this side. Be very careful. As you can see, zombies are everywhere. I'm trying to tell which direction this one's going. It's going over there. That's fine. Casually sneak in. Make sure that we don't pull any desirable... Actually, I don't, <laughs> I don't think it'd be very desirable to pull them on us, but... What we're going to do is we're going to check these four towers. Now, these lookout towers are spread out all across the map, and they are one of the most useful tools for gathering very exclusive weaponry. So I'm going to climb up here. Be very careful that I don't run. Hopefully he doesn't come over here. Alrighty! And I just crouched. So I don't think he's a noticed us but we have our first weapon the AKM exciting now the thing to note about these bigger weapons is that they are noisy as heck you shoot them off you better be ready for the horde that'll come after you so I believe just picked up three rounds for that and look at that we also have a GPS great pick that up now a GPS is just gonna tell you what direction you're looking so if I click the map real quick Oh, look at that. I think we have maps now. That That's useful. There's our GPS. It's telling us where we are, what's going on. All that fun stuff. Really cool. So right now, if I zoom in right here, 
We are actually, I believe, somewhere over here. Somewhere in this region. The airfield's right here. And this is where we were just before. And I am excavating this area right now. So let's exit out of there. What I'm going to try and do next is I'm going to try and get over there. Unfortunately, there is a zombie there. We do have a good weapon now, so maybe it would be worthwhile to head into the city. The city's a little bit away. How about we explore all of these lookout towers? Carefully climb down here. Try not to attack, attract any attention. Now we have a assault rifle, so if I ever run into any anyone, we can take them out real quick. Another thing to remember is that if there are enemy players nearby, you have to be very careful about what weapon you're using and if you should use it or not. Because sometimes, if you and another player are trapped in an area, using your gun is going to condemn you both. You are both doomed to die. I was in another re region with a guy with a Lee Enfield. And unfortunately, I'm not going to say the same incident happened as the last episode. But let's just say someone died. And the guy with the Lee Enfield pulled the gigantic horde on top of himself. And I stayed dead. And I could hear his screams across the chat as he tried to get away. Thankfully, Karma bit him in the butt. And his corpse remained mangled on the ground. Which is exactly what I wanted to hear. Alright, we're going to climb up here. Hoping to see some other items. Oh, I see a bunch of packs. That's useful. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Check the gear. G17 mag, useful. Morphine pack, smoke grenade. So nothing too extensive, nothing that we can really take advantage of. How about here? Nothing like that either. An MP5 mag, I don't know why I'd use that exactly. Painkillers always, are always useful, so I'm going to snag one of those. And you know what, bandages are also useful, so I'm going to throw that in my pack. And we're going to head back down, check across, no one's there. We're going to head back down and go across to the one right across from us. And the useful thing to note, oh, there's a zombie nearby. Got to be careful now. Where is he exactly? He's right there. This music is not helping me at all. I do not want him to see me climb down this ladder. Just relax, zombie. It's all gonna be okay. Alright. And there are flies. Someone died over here. Alright, let's head over to this next lookout tower. Another useful thing to note is that if you spend your time checking out these four towers, you could probably go around cycling all day because they will actually reset by the time you get to the last one you check. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. You don't get the variety that you need, especially if you're looking for specific weapons. Uh oh. This guy's coming for me. And now we're gonna run. Now we're gonna run. Oh, oh, okay. Climb up the ladder! 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 Oh my goodness. Okay, it's okay. It's fine. It's alright. I got this. I got this. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? No, you don't. Don't even play this game with me. Where did you go? So, one thing to note. Hiding, as you saw that zombie, hiding up in these towers is not an effective strategy at all. They will climb up, and they can actually body trap you. So if you don't manage to kill them, they will kill you. So be very careful. Another thing to note is that you are very visible from within this tower, so you don't want to be in here too long. I'm going to go prone, actually, so I don't get headshotted by some rude boy. But then I just realized that I have to go here. All right. Pick up some stuff. A map! I don't know how useful this is, since I feel like we're already given maps. I hear gunshots. <laughs> There's a guy in the chat named Dickbutt. I love people who come up with really original names. 
Uh, PDW. Ooh, is that a... Interesting! I am going to switch that out. I have not seen this weapon before. Very interesting. I am going to take advantage of that. Now, unfortunately, I dropped a bunch of other things. Pick up some extra stuff, just in case, just in case. Interesting, very interesting. The only problem with switching out your weapon is that these weapons may be a little bit noisier, so you have to be aware of that. I'm going to sneak down right now. I think we're well equipped weapon-wise. Now we just need our specific items. We've got a map and a GPS, but we don't have anything in terms of what we need to survive in the wilderness. So I'm just going to check this last tower out and be very careful while I do it. Yep, this is a SMG, so it's going to be very risky. It's going to be very noisy. Noise is the last thing we want. If you guys are interested in seeing the noise output of certain weapons, oh my goodness, I'm going to go prone. I'm not going to risk it. If you guys are interested in the noise output, there's actually uh, somewhere on the internet, I know it's quite extensive, the, the, this internet thing, but somewhere on the internet there are actually a uh, list of items and their noise level. Very interesting to look at. You can figure out what weapons, what weapons are actually useful and what weapons aren't. There's a zombie right there. I'm trying to figure out if it's worth the risk. Hmm. Honestly, I don't think it is worth the risk. I don't think we're going to find anything too interesting up there. Maybe another weapon. The likelihood of finding a hunting knife or anything like that isn't very likely. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to very carefully sneak through here and get out of this military base. Very carefully. Almost there, almost there. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness. All right, I think it's safe to go crouch mode. Make sure you have a good pair of headsets or a good pair of headsets. Make sure you have a good headset or really nice loud speakers because volume can save your butt on this. I often hear zombies before I see them. And it's really important to not die from something as foolish as accidentally running while there's a zombie right beside you. And zombies can hear uh, from behind walls and other items like that. So if you're running next to a building or running inside of a building, don't expect that no one will hear you because, trust me, things will hear you. Almost out of here. I'm just going to sneak across the other side of the road really quickly. Notice my noise level is really high right now. I'm going to get across real quick. And now I'm in the clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my AKM. I am now going to be a player exterminator. If I run into any players, their lives will be in my hands. And I promise you it will not end like last time. <laughs> and if it does, well then, I, I don't know. I'll probably cry myself to sleep because that's incredibly depressing.